All right, now that you've learned a little bit more about the grid, one thing we're gonna be using a lot um, to track our progress is found right here with the using the tracking page. And there is a link right here that you'll get to see in a second um, about where your tracking page is and what it looks like. And so we're gonna take a look at that just so you know where to find it and just briefly how it's used. So on this particular grid, there is a link right here to open the tracking page and you should be able to just click on it on your version and when you get to it it'll look something like this so you see that we have the list of student names and then across the top it follows the exact same pacing as what's on your grid um, there are two tabs down here the tracking page itself which is this tab and then the next one which is questions and support we'll talk more about add in your name and what this looks like later. This is just to see what the tracking page would look like. Um, for every other grid, this is going to be found on your Google Classroom in your announcements. And so there will be a tracking page listed in our stream on Google Classroom to help you out for where it goes. Um, part of the reason we're tracking ourselves is to make sure that we know how we're pacing ourselves along through the grid as well as how your other peers are doing as they're going through the grid so that we can help one another and not just see how we're doing, but see how everyone else is doing as they're making their way through the grid. So this tracking page is something that's going to be up on our smart board and it should be up on your screens as well. So it'll be our tool to track both how we're doing throughout the grid and if there are any questions that we're having during our work time.